Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel Agriculture Make Strong. Today let us discuss about plant production measures of pea diseases and let us see the symptoms of the diseases and control measures of some of the pea diseases. Today I am going to explain about the plant production measures and I am going to give a brief introduction of some of the diseases which is seen in the pea crop and some of the control measures which are followed to that control the diseases and let us see about the diseases. First one is disease wilt and here you can observe the symptoms like uh, there will be a uh, seen in this seedling stage and the symptoms are like premature yellowing and withering of the yellow leaves during the seedling stage and the advanced stage. Uh, some of the disease control measures are we should take the seed treatment with thyram 2 grams per 2 grams uh, plus carbon diazium 1 gram per kg of seed and also adopt the crop rotation. And uh, third one to control the disease wilt this is, is avoid early sowing in the badly infested areas. So that you can uh, minimize the disease and you can follow the yield uh, production. And let us see about the powdery mildew. Here if you observe the leaves of the pea, here the patches of the white are observed on the leaves and also on the stem. This they are characterized by the patchy growth on both surfaces of leaf and also on the tendrils, pods and the stem. In the case of severe infestation, the plant dies prematurely. So, there is some of the control measures for the powdery mildew in the pea crop. First one is to adopt the resistant varieties like uh, some of the Pan P5, Malvia 15, JP885, HPU2 etc. And also by spraying with keratin at the rate of 1 ml per liter or wettable sulfur at 3 grams per liter or dinocap at the rate of 1 ml per liter of water and repeat after 10 to 15 days. It is necessary if it is necessary. And avoid the late planting and after the harvest collect the plants left in the field and burn them so that you can, dis you can decrease the disease of powdery mildew in the crop. And coming to the next, rust. Rust is this disease which you can uh, caused by the, you can see that it is caused by the fungus. And the stem of the plant becomes small form and the affected plant dies out. And all the green parts of the plant are affected. And some of the yellow spots have having the asia in the round or elongated clusters. Then the iridopustules develop which are powdery and light brown in appearance and some of the control measures are like after the harvest the affected plants trash should be burnt spray the crop with mancozep 75 wettable self wettable powder at the rate of 2 grams per liter of water and this is the symptoms of the rust disease if you observe in the image and coming to the next one the insect pest pea stem fly let us see about the insect pest of the pea crop. First one is stem fly. And the maggots of the insect damages the internal tissue and consequently the entire plant dies. The damage is more acute when the crop is sown early. And some of the control measures if we follow for the stem fly is like mix 30 kg per hectare carbofuron furidone at the rate of 3% granules or 10 kg per hectare for it. Time at 10% of granules in the soil before sowing of the crop and avoid the early planting. These are some of the measures should be followed. And coming to the next one, leaf miner. Larvae of the insect makes tunnels in the leaf causing the severe damage. This damage is more during the month of December to March. And control measures are like 1 liter of oxymethylone, methyl, uh, 25 EC in 1000 liter of water per hectare when the attack begins and repeat at 15 days of interval. Here you can see how it is observed by the leaf miner. And let us see about the pea aphids. They suck the sap of the cells and 
owing to which the leaves turn pale and yellow. In the case of severe infestation, the plant growth is checked. Ultimately, the plant growth stunted. So, these are the symptoms and the control measures are like spray 1.25 liter of dimethyl 30 ec or oxymethone methyl 25 ec in 1000 liter of water per hectare. Repeat the spray after 10 to 12 days. Coming to this piney pot borer. It is a polyphagous insect and the caterpillar makes holes in the pots, feed upon developing seed, late varieties are prone to more damage than the earlier ones and care should be taken that uh, late varieties should not be grown and some of the control measures are like picking of green pots should be done 15 days after spraying and spray of 1.25 liter of cypermethrin in 1000 liter of water per hectare is safe and effective. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon 